The man who ran Mexico's version of the FBI has been found guilty of taking bribes and allowing drug cartels to spread across North America. It was supposed to be Gennaro Garcia Luna's job as security minister to fight drug cartels in Mexico. Instead, he's been convicted of living a double life, cashing his government paycheck, while also being on the payroll of the Sinaloa cartel. Joining us now is Derek Maltz. He is a retired DEA agent who is also in charge of the DOJ's Special Operations Division. Derek, good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I am doing well, uh, and I appreciate you asking, but how important do you think that uh, Gennaro Garcia Luna was to the Sinaloa cartel's ability to grow their operation and also uh, to be able to import so many of the drugs in the United States that have done so much harm here? Well, this triple agent, as we call him, because he worked for the cartels, he worked for Mexican government, and he also worked for the U.S. law enforcement. And he was playing a game for a long time. He was extremely valuable for the cartels. I mean, the cartels are operating with impunity even today because of the unbelievable systemic corruption in Mexico. So this was a huge victory for the good guys, DEA, law enforcement partners, and the aggressive, courageous prosecutors in New York City that have been fighting for years to go after these cartels. But you got to understand, the corrupt politicians and government officials are the biggest obstacle for U.S. law enforcement to actually make a difference in this country to actually, you know, save our kids from dying at record levels. So this is a big rule of law success story, okay? Not like the uh, Salvador Cienfuegos disaster when the Eastern District of New York indicted him and he was sent back to Mexico. And they well, kicked dirt Mr. Maltz, let me, let me step in here. I mean, the, the, this court has now convicted Gennaro Garcia Luna as well as El Chapo himself. But does this work as a deterrent? Does it actually tell the cartels in Mexico, we're serious about prosecuting you? Or are there already three other people that have taken uh, Garcia Luna's job and they're still going on like business as usual? Great question, Matt. I mean, yes, it's a deterrent to a degree. The problem is the Mexican government is very soft on crime. You know, President AMLO has the hugs for thugs, no bullets policies. So we have a, like the DEA administrator testified last week, there's over 200 uh, people indicted waiting for extradition, and we're not getting him up here. So he's going to take his time, and I don't know what's going to happen, but to be honest with you, they are operating with impunity now. They're building up momentum. Our kids are dying at record levels. Families are being destroyed. Communities are being inundated with deadly fentanyl and other drugs. And the Sinaloa cartel is, is leading the path with the cartel Jalisco New Generation. So we got to get the Mexican government way more aggressive. And the U.S. has to start taking this serious because this is not only a public health threat, but it's a national security threat to our country. Uh, certainly still a danger down there, but this is a step in the right direction, at least holding someone accountable. Derek Maltz, a former DEA agent, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.